Members ready? Yep. Three, two, and one. It would be a one liter bottle um, that has carbonated water, uh, a ping pong ball, and some means of getting the ping pong ball to stay in the air as long as possible. You're just adding weight at that point. Yeah. You're not gonna they it. still have to do some engineering and science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take me out to the back. Of the <laughs> Second one, Cassidy School, Oklahoma. Three, two, and one. We wanted to put the ping pong ball on the top, so when the rocket goes up and it falls back down, the parachute's higher up than the actual bottle, so it can get as much time in the air. Because the parachute folds in on itself, it tends to fold in on itself, so when it deploys, we want to make sure it deploys fully out. What would you recommend to other young people doing this event? Um, to really think about uh, the, your parachute especially because we had a lot of trouble with that. Make sure the parachute doesn't like get tangled or anything before the competition because if it gets tangled it's not going to work. Oh. And you have a little tape there. Yeah so that's when that's for when the parachute goes up. Our ping pong ball tended to get stuck in the parachute and get dragged down with it so this is for to hold the ping pong ball in there and the rocket falls back it's going to pull the ping pong ball with it and it's gonna it's gonna get pulled off eventually. It's not permanent. Three, two, and one. Wait, this is the this is the bad one. Wait, what is the, the parachute? It's it? one plate. Oh, yeah. Don't they both have plate? No. Does this have a cross on the top? Yeah, a big one. Yeah. Oh, okay. Solar flat nose cone allows the ping pong ball to rest inside of the rocket. So when the rocket goes upwards, it keeps the ping pong ball on the rocket. But any tilting of the rocket will allow the parachute to deploy very quickly. We tried many nose cones like made out of paper and like plastic cups. But whenever we tried a nose cone, the parachute wouldn't deploy and it gets stuck inside the nose cone. We basically used some fins. These, these aren't that special. They're just to stabilize the rocket. But this long tube allows us to use a larger parachute to wrap around the, the bottle without creating drag. Can you show me how you wrap that around? Yeah. You want to hold this? Go on to And then it's ready to launch.
A good device today would be nine second flight, and we're in a twenty uh, a twenty six foot room, but none of them have gone near twenty six feet. Traffic ready? Yep. Three, two, one, go. So you know, having taught physics for years with parachutes. I predict at Nationals we'll have a 30-second flight, which would be similar to uh, an outdoor water rocket event, only that will be inside. That's, that's what I think we can go with this. Next up, Berkwood from Georgia. First launch. Timer's ready? Yep. Yep. Three, two, and one. Yes. This year we're launching inside and we're doing that because we're having trouble at times in the northern states with the fuel freezing. Yeah, I'm on here. So we're trying to create an event where we can launch it indoors and possibly outdoors if the weather's right. Is it in your school, Stevenson? Yeah. Stevenson High School from Illinois. First launch. Three, two, and one. Did you want this? Uh, I mean, I think I'll do it. Okay. Well, I mean, on the rocket. You can see that we're struggling a bit with altitude. We're changing the rules. It's a trial event. We will change it for next time, and we'll have a range where the kids will pick their pressure, but have to start in the middle of the range pressure range so they can see it launch, and then they'll have two more launches, and it'll be the single best launch of the three. That's, that's tentatively how I think we'll go with this. Three, two, and one. Next up, Berkwood from Georgia. First launch. 